Casper, why are you using the bigger dinner? It's the worst knife. You're so bad. Woo! Check it out, Casper! Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. And today we're going to be asking the question, is the big earner any good? And hopefully we're also going to be answering the question, is the big earner any good? Of course, in my opinion. I just want to start by saying, if you have fun using this weapon, carry on using it no matter what I tell you right now. Of course, this is my opinion, even if it does turn out by fact that it's shit. If you have fun with it, use it. And that goes for any weapon and anyone who tells you anything. So let's start off by taking a look at the stats of this weapon. So for the benefit of getting plus 30% cloak immediately on kill, you lose 25 health. And what that takes you down to is 100 health. That is the lowest possible health that you can be down to default, other than the kunai, of course, which has got a health benefit on kill, so it sort of makes sense on that weapon. This is the only weapon that lowers your health that much. And in fact, it's one of the few weapons in the game that lowers your health at all. So if it wasn't enough that Spy is one of the lowest health classes anyway, 125, that's the lowest base health for any class. This actually lowers that even further. What this means is that one stray rocket, one stray pill, a few seconds of flame, or mini gunfire, and you're dead. Now there's a few reasons why I think this teams up with the Dead Ringer. Obviously, as we've just discussed, you're very low health. Dead Ringer will help to cushion that quite a lot. But let me explain the sort of scenario I can imagine using this knife in, and that will hopefully put you in the same mindset that I am when I think about this. So the benefit of this knife only happens on kill, and what that benefit is, is giving you cloak. So why are you going to need cloak immediately after killing? Well, that's because you're going to want to get invisible straight away. Why you want to going to be invisible straight away? Well, that's because you want to get away, or hide, or move somewhere else without being seen. And the only instance where it's going to seriously matter if you're being seen is if there's other people around. Now, if there's other people around and you're using the Invisi Watch or the Cloak and Dagger, they've seen you kill this person, they can only fire in your general direction. So even if you can go invisible, and bear in mind there is a slight invisibility time where you sort of fade, anyone who's using a sort of splash damage class or even someone who's quite good with the minigun is going to kill you pretty quickly, especially as you've only got 100 health. However, with the dead ringer, if you've just faint and uncloaked fairly aggressively, your dead ringer is filling up slowly, maybe you've picked up a little bit of ammo on the floor, you stab someone, that 30% nearly fills you up. One second later, that 30% has helped you fill up your dead ringer. You can pop your dead ringer up and you can survive the spam that's coming your way. Again, if you try that with the Invisi Watch or the Cloak and Dagger, yes, okay, you're more likely to be able to cloak if you've only just uncloaked, but if there's people around, they're gonna spam at you and they'll probably kill you. If we look at the opposite scenario, where there's no one around, so where you're gonna be safe quickly cloaking with the cloak and dagger or with the Vizzy watch, doesn't really serve a great deal of purpose because there's no one around, so, so there's no desperate need to be invisible. Okay, yeah, I totally agree. There will be some edge cases where there's someone close, but not close enough, and then being able to go invisible quickly and have that little few extra seconds from that 30% extra cloak to get a little bit further away, it will work. But the way it works in my head, I feel like the majority of situations is not going to make the difference. Now, in my personal experience from using this weapon, anyone who's used Stock Knife for a while and has used the Invisi Watch or the Dead Ringer with it, they're used to going to ammo packs to fill up their cloak along the way. And what I personally found was that I wasn't really getting the benefit of this extra percentage. I found that when I was going into fights, it was so ingrained in my mind that I was picking up ammo kits on the way, that by the time I got to fights, that extra 30% really wasn't making the difference, and I was dying a lot more than I would otherwise because of that extra low health. Now, of course, that's just me personally. Yes, uh, I'm openly admitting that's a weakness of my mindset here, but I find it hard, and I also find it a little bit pointless to think why you would try and break that mindset just to use this knife which ultimately just gives you low health. And while the benefit is useful for getting a really aggressive stab and hopefully being able to pull up the dead ringer quickly or of course cloak and get away slightly more successfully, in the majority of cases when you stab someone you're going to be able to pick up their weapon which will refill your cloak if you're using the Invisi Watch or the dead ringer. Not necessarily refill your cloak completely but a little bit more than the base rate. So it may sound like I'm singing the praises of the dead ringer a little bit here and that's pretty much true. I do have another video in the works to explain why I feel that way and um, I hope it will answer anyone's question of saying why do you use the dead ringer so much? Not that anyone's asked me that but in case someone was thinking it. So is there any situation where you find that the big earner absolutely 100% trumps the default knife? Because I'm thinking 
Not a lot of people do think that, because if you take a look around, how often do you see someone using the big earner? I'd say a very large majority of the time, people are using the default stock knife. And that's because, in my opinion, overall, it is the best knife for the majority of situations. And at the end of the day, you don't know what situations are going to come up. So having the knife that suits the majority of situations is probably the best way to play. I'd love some civil debate in the comments. So if you do think this is a great knife, please let me know. Because I'd love to have some ideas on how to use it. So if you can teach me something, that's great. And I hope that I've taught you something. Thanks everybody for watching. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!